Hello everyone. This video tutorial is about how to apply metabolic simulators and profile the obtained metabolites in the QSAR toolbox. The abiotic and biotic transformations of chemicals play a crucial role in toxicological risk assessment. In many cases, the toxic effect of chemicals is due to the metabolic activation of the chemicals, and the metabolites are the potent chemical structures responsible for the toxic effect. In this respect, it is very important to analyze the metabolic activation and take it into account in the read across hypothesis. The QSAR toolbox contains a list of documented metabolism databases and metabolism simulators that can be used for various purposes such as analysis of the profiling results or collecting analogs and other. In addition, the profiling information of the metabolites can be exported in Excel and analyzed outside the interface of QSAR toolbox. The simulators are endpoint specific and depending on the target endpoint, specific simulators must be used. Please note that only Phase 1 metabolites are generated for the purposes of the QSAR toolbox. Let's get started. The documented metabolism databases and the metabolic simulators are located in the profiling module of the system. All metabolic simulators in the QSAR toolbox are donated by the Laboratory of Mathematical Chemistry and were originally developed for the Times and Catalogic systems. For each of the documented and simulated metabolisms there is a short and a detailed description. To see these details, one must select a documented or simulated metabolism, such as the skin metabolism simulator, and then click on the About button in the panel of the section. Here we find a short description of the simulator, which also includes information about the developer, donator, website, and others. More details about the simulator can be seen by scrolling down and clicking on the documentation button. An additional file will open where you can find more details about the simulator. How does a metabolic simulator work in QSAR toolbox? Let us enter three chemicals and analyze simulated in vivo and in vitro metabolites. First, we need to add the substances to the data matrix. We go to Input and use Add by CAS, where we enter a chemical with identification number 54-88-6. Then we right-click on the 2D visualization of the target chemical. A menu opens in which we select Add in Category by CAS and enter the identification number of the second chemical. We add the third chemical in the same way. Now we have a list of three chemicals. We need to go to the profiling module and select two simulators from the list, the in vivo rat metabolism simulator and the rat liver S9 metabolism simulator and click apply. The number of simulated in vivo and in vitro metabolites of the chemicals appears as a result in the data matrix. Double clicking on a cell with a result opens a table with the generated metabolites based on the corresponding simulator. In general, we can apply a single, many or all profiling schemes to the generated metabolites. However, it makes sense to apply not all, but only certain profiling schemes to the generated metabolites, depending on the endpoint of interest. For example, if the endpoint of interest is genetic toxicity, it makes sense to apply all profilers with DNA binding alerts to the metabolites. This shows whether there is activation as a result of metabolism. Let us apply the DNA alerts for AMES, CA, and MNT from OASIS on the parent chemicals and their metabolites. To do this, we need to select the profiler together with the simulators. In our case, the simulators are already selected. Then click on Apply. The profiling results appear in the data matrix. The first sublevels show the profiling result of the parent structures. All they are profiled as no alert found according to the DNA profiler. The profiling results of the metabolites can be found in the corresponding to the applied profiler cell under the result of each simulator. Double-click on a cell with a profiling result opens additional explanation dialog. More details about this additional information you can find in the tutorial activation as a result of metabolism. The profiling results of the parent and the generated metabolites can be exported to an external file, such as comma-separated values. To do this, we need to right-click on a row corresponding to a profiling results and select the first option in the menu, Export Data Matrix. 
The matrix export dialog appears with the profiling results selected for export. There are additional options in the matrix export dialog that can be selected for other types of data export. Now click on export and enter a name for the exported file and browse to place where to be saved. A message informs you of the success of the export. If we open the file with Excel, we see the profiling result of the parents and the generated in vivo and in vitro metabolites generated by the two simulators. As seen, the information is distributed to different columns in the Excel spreadsheet. Congratulations! Now you are ready to learn more about the functionalities in Toolbox and how to use them. Contact QSAR Toolbox Help Desk for technical questions. If your question concerns policy or regulatory acceptance of Toolbox results within the EU legislations of ECHA's competence, please refer to the ECHA website directly.